we're in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. We're at the Mid-South Barbecue Festival, and we're judging uh, backyard contests, and we're judging ribs. Uh, my name is Jacqueline Johnson, and I am with the Mid-South Barbecue Festival uh, Committee, and really the committee is putting on the uh, festival. Um, we have a two-day festival. Uh, Friday is our backyard, and then Saturday is our KCB um, professional uh, contest. And we do this every year. It's the third weekend in October. There you go. Hi, I'm Paige Hill, and we just tried six different ribs from six different teams, and they were all so different, yet so good. And this is really hard. This is a really hard uh, decision we had to make. Did you pick a favorite? I think I have multiple favorites. It's like, this was kind of like picking your favorite kid. I don't know. I don't know if I can have one favorite, but there were some that stood out for sure. Okay. Pass it on. Hello, I'm Marva Hutspeth. I'm a resident of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, and I'm a ju I am just judged the rib contest. And there were several good ones. They were all good, but there were several very good ones. I'm Susie Curry. I'm from Columbia, Tennessee. Um, just got through judging six different styles of ribs. I um, think two of them were my favorite. The other one were still good, but two of them just really need to go for seconds. I'm Cindy Nichols, and I'm from the Memphis area, and I came all the way to to, no, eat to eat ribs, right. But um, I had one favorite. They were all good, but there was one that stood out. They did a good job. <laughs> I'm Kenny Anderson, and this is my granddaughter Carrie, and we're just here having a good time testing out these cooks. My name is Bob Shackford, the mayor of the city of Mount Pleasant. Um, it's, I'm enjoying sitting there eating this free barbecue. <laughs> Might carry some home with me. <laughs> my name is Bobby Bain. I'm here enjoying this good barbecue. Just proud to be here. Did not have a bad one, so I'm taking my samples home to eat tonight. So uh, my wife won't have to cook supper. Very good, very good event. Mm -hmm. I'm Kathy Bain, and I'm originally from the Memphis area. And I grew up with my dad digging a pit in the back of the yard and cooking ribs. So I've been eating ribs all my life, and I thought we had some good representations here. It's interesting how many people can how people can get so many different flavors and textures. But they were all delicious. I, too, had one favorite. But it's been a pleasure to be here.
This one, um, this whole plate is really, in my mind, uh, people shooting themselves in the foot for the most part. This was too dry. Could have been a good entry, but it just really took away. In this case, this, this could have been a really nice entry, but too small parsley. It just was a really problem to eat. And in picking all the parsley off, uh, you got rid of rub, you got rid of sauce. And um, that could have been much better, but that fatal mistake. This was a little dry. This was by far my favorite. Um, Good moisture to it, um, good balance of flavors, not over sauce, was quite nice. These final two, for me, I was tasting some creosote and some uh, unpleasant things in it, so those weren't as much as what I liked. So. Uh, a good choice from the cooks for, for certain. Uh, I did think that the number one entry was a little too dry. Number two entry uh, seemed to be uh, have more skin on it, we, and I taste the skin, but it did it just did not absorb the, the barbecue taste nor the smoke taste. Number three entry was a little dry, but probably of, of the six entries, the number three entry would have been my choice. Uh, Number five entry was a good entry on, on uh, presentation, but it was uh, a little hot on, on the sauce uh, and a little heavy on the sauce. Well, just a comment on parsley. Number two, finely chopped parsley looks nice. But you put a sticky barbecue sauce on the chicken, it's impossible to get the parsley off. You end up eating parsley with a chicken. And I don't think that was the cook's intent. Overall, I saw number three had a really good flavor to me. The sauce was a little bit sweeter, a bit spicy too. Had to heat some crackers after that one. Um, I did have two of the entries that came through. They looked good. The taste was good, but they were so dry that I couldn't score it high. All right, number one, I found to be overly dry, uh, just not pleasant to eat at all. The second one was uh, didn't have a lot of flavor to it, but the texture and the moistness was very good. Third one had a really nice flavor, uh, not quite as it's probably slightly overcooked, but it's got a good flavor. Fourth one ha had too much rub on it. It was, uh, you know, the, just wasn't the best choice of rub and had too much of it there. Number fi five I liked a lot. Uh, it was pr uh, one, of m one of the better ones on the plate, I thought. Just little, slightly overcooked. Number six was my favorite. Had a good smoky flavor, had a uh, really nice sauce flavor, and um, was cooked just like I like it. That first rib, I felt like it had a crisp taste to it, which meant that they did not clean their grill when they cooked the rib. Otherwise, the rib would have been okay, but for that taste, 
The second one was overcooked completely, in my opinion. Uh, had a good flavor, but it was overcooked. The third rib was pull, it pulled nicely from the bone, tastes good, uh, had a good flavor. I gave it a pretty good score. The, the next rib, number four, on your platter would be perfect, uh, had a good taste, had a good pull. The flavor was good there, it was tender. I thought it was a good rib. The next rib to it was almost as good. It was a little bit overcooked slightly. Other than that, it was a good rib. The last rib was overcooked a little. Had a good flavor though. Overall, it was a good rib. The best one I saw on the, my plate would have been number four. Rib number one was my uh, suggestion for being absolutely the worst. Uh, the team had for some reason decided to to uh, set the rib into uh, parsley in such a manner that it was very difficult to remove the parsley uh, from the rib and as a result it negatively affected the taste. Um, but I had others that were also very close for being uh, not good ribs number two. I've got the rib sitting right here and it's sitting right there because it fell right out of the meat. I thought the uh, the rib itself was uh, r really dark and somewhat unappealing, but uh, the main negative feature there was the fact that the rib uh, just fell out. Uh, number three was by far the best one for me. I liked the appearance. I liked the fact they had Frenched the rib. Um, the color was good throughout. It was juicy. It was flavorful. And you bit away from the uh, the meat away from the rib, the uh, bone dried. It was it was the type of rib that I'd be proud to serve my best friends. Uh, my first rib was kind of dry, uh, had very little flavor to it. Uh, the second one was a pretty decent rib. It had good flavor, uh, good texture to it. The third was probably the best one uh, as far as overall texture, tenderness, uh, good taste, uh, just the right bit of spices to it. Uh, number four in mine was pretty dry also, um, but not as bad as number one. Um, number uh, five was also good and it was very close to number three. It had good taste, good texture, and, and uh, uh, very good spices. Uh, the last one, number six, was dry and had very little flavor in, in, the, in the rib that I received. Rib number one uh, was overcooked. Uh, the seasoning was just not there. Rib number two had a, had a little more flavor. Um, it was a little chewy. Number three uh, was the cooked well. Uh, it, it came off the bone as it should have. It had a nice seasoning. Number three was probably my favorite. Number four was dry and chewy. Um, seasoning was mediocre. Uh, probably my least favorite. Number five, I enjoyed the sauce. Um, the meat was a little chewy, but the, um, the taste was good. Number six, a little oversauced and, and a little dry. <clears throat> Number one was very dry and it had very little seasoning. It was just overall not a good rib. Um, number two was a little bit better. I, it had kind of a peppery seasoning to it, which I really liked. It, um, it, was a little dry, but it was uh, it tasted a little bit better. Um, number three for my particular rib, it slipped entirely off the bone as I had tried to take one bite of it, so it was really tender. But the taste was really good. Uh, number four had had a, a fruity accent to it, which I liked, and um, 
gave a good flavor to the entire rib and was very tender and it was really the best one of the uh, entire plate. Uh, number five also had a fruity flavor um, but they also added a little spice into it which really made a good for a good balance and it was really tender so that was really good too. Um, six um, again seemed like there was a big um, emphasis on fruit flavorings um, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, number six was a little bit um, too tender but um, overall it was a good rib and it was just a really good plate today. <clears throat> Without duplicating what was been covered already, I think number one and two uh, of my samples were the worst. Uh, number one, I think the team could work on their garnish uh, a bit. It uh, created a distraction. Uh, of the best, probably three and six on my plate were probably the better ones. Uh, six being a little overcooked and probably a little uh, sauced, a little too heavy. But uh, otherwise, uh, probably three was a better one. Mm, money roll. Blue sushi roll. Money roll. This was a pork entry. The first one was slightly dry and the cook didn't do himself any favors when he cut the uh, money muscle or the slices I should say. He cut them with the grain rather than against the grain. So it made the, the entire uh, meat rather stringy and dry. The second one was a very good entry. Um, it had a strong smoke flavor to it, but I personally like a lot of smoke. I know a lot of judges don't, but uh, it was very good. It was moist. It was a good, I thought, a good entry. The third one, if, if we judge by weight, that box would have won the table because that was the heaviest box I think I've ever had in, in a barbecue contest. Uh, but the, uh, the meat was dry, and the... Oddly enough, it didn't have much flavor. It needed seasoning, I thought, and salt or something, but it, it just didn't have any pork flavor. It really just didn't have any flavor at all for me. The fourth one, I'm pretty sure won the table because it was as about as good as you can get with a pork entry. The uh, burn ends were excellent. The money muscle was cooked perfectly. Um, to me, it was the epitome of perfect pork entry. The fifth one, it was. It started out good, but it was slightly dry, and the uh, the burn ends were awfully, awfully dry and and tough. The uh, sixth one, I thought was very good too. It it wasn't as good as number four, but it was very, very close. Uh, it was moist. It was tender. It had good flavor. It could have possibly been a little oversauced, but uh, it was it was a good entry. My favorites were number three and number four. Uh, number three had not as much sauce on it as the other entries, so you got more of the pork flavor, which had a pretty good flavor. Um, the fifth one, the pull portion was a little on the tough side, but it had good flavor. Number six was overcooked, mushy, and pretty much about all you could taste was sauce. This is where judges 
differ. Uh, my least favorite was number two, which Judge at the end of the table really liked. Um, mine was um, a nice presentation. The meat was cold. It had a strange flavor. It was a little overpowering flavor. Um, and the, my meat was tough. Then my most favorite was number six. I thought it was a beautiful presentation in the box. Um, and it, the meat was tender. It had a good barbecue taste to it. And um, I just thought it was a great entry. Well, I liked um, number three and number four the best. I thought number four had the best taste and flavor. The cooking of it was perfect. Uh, three was a close second. My least favorite was number two. It was overcooked and a little dry. The others were, were okay. Starting with the one I was most partial to would be number five. It was a rather simple presentation, didn't have a large variety of different cuts, but the pork itself was cooked perfectly, and for my liking, it was spiced perfectly. And I'm going to join a number of other judges who found number two the least appetizing. In my case, it just did not have much flavor at all, and it was severely overcooked to the point where it kind of turned to mud with just a little tongue pressure against the roof of the mouth. My least favorite was number one, and the, one of the big reasons is that the parsley was chopped into fi very fine pieces, and since I had the last piece, the parsley stuck to the slice, and I just could not get it off, so I had as much parsley taste as I did pork. Uh, number three, I thought, just lack total flavor could have used some sauce or more seasoning my favorite number four and number six both had uh, just the right amount of smoke as well as uh, sauce and and seasonings Overall, it's a somewhat disappointing category. Um, some of the some of the entries were overcooked. Some of the other entries were injected with what appears to have tasted like a beef broth and gave it a really gamey, off-putting taste. Um, compared to some of the categories we judged earlier, such as the ribs and the uh, chicken, this one fell a bit short, I'm afraid. Uh, the first entry uh, was beautifully placed in the box. It had a nice flavor. It was a bit too tough uh, on the whole. Uh, the second entry had a nice glisten to it as it appeared in the box, but again, it was a little too tough as well. Uh, the third entry was uh, looked up here burnt on the top um, in the box. It was uh, fatty in its cut and uh, had an unnatural taste. Uh, the fourth entry had a nice peppery flavor. Um, it, it was good. Uh, overall, a very positive entry. The fifth entry was a very positive entry. It looked very pretty in the box. It had a nice uh, smoky taste and uh, had a good tenderness to it as well. And the sixth entry, again, looked a little bit burnt in the box in presentation, was overcooked, and the burn ends were dried out.